Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Really appreciate it. Um, I haven't uploaded in, oh my gosh, like six months. It's crazy. Um, but I'm super happy to be back and making videos. We'll be going over like the state of Valorant right now, kind of where it's, I don't know, place in the life cycle. It's placed in the FPS genre right now and kind of how I'm hoping it can change and evolve in the coming months. Um, before I dive ahead first into that, uh, please subscribe, please share the video if you like it. Um, I'm going to be doing more content on Valorant, the finals, Stormgate, and if any of that stuff is interesting to you, I'll be uploading videos pretty soon. All right, let's get to it. I think the state of FPS games right now is at a all-time low. Not, I mean, relatively. FPS games are, are they're in an interesting spot right now, just like kind of like big scale. If you think about, you know, what happened with um, Fortnite just a few years ago, absolutely blowing up the genre and kind of solidifying gaming as a, a business that's not going anywhere, a market that's not going anywhere. You know, it's worth billions of dollars at this point, and, and there should be, you know, with this much demand, a, a consistent supply of interesting and original games, you know, with the increasing popularity and everything. So, you know, considering these conditions, you know, especially after the, the pandemic and an all-time demand for these games, why in the world are we still playing Valorant? And not to diss on Valorant, honestly, I think Valorant has its place in esports. It's like a refresh on, on CSGO. I personally still enjoy playing the game, but I mean, think about it. It's like the gameplay is uh, less than imaginative yet it's the most popular FPS game out on the market right now. And I feel like, you know, Valorant's kind of that, I don't know, it's that X that we keep going back to. You know, it's like, oh, okay, we'll try out this new game. And then when that game flops, we end up just going back to Valorant because it's consistent. You know, it's like, it's something that we're comfortable with, right? Like the FPS scene is so barren right now. They removed building from Fortnite and people started playing it again. You know, like that's like a legitimate option. The, the most popular game that you can find on Twitch is Call of Duty. That game hasn't been the most popular game for over a decade and it's just so devoid of any good games right now that like, yeah, all right, you know what, let's bring back Call of Duty now, albeit it's Warzone, right? But I mean, uh, Battle Royale games have kind of had their day. Um, Overwatch 2 came out recently. That was an FPS game that I was looking forward to and it just ended up being like a complete, it was just a fucking like update patch to Overwatch 1. It wasn't even a new game. No, it's the same maps, the same characters, the exact same gameplay. So I think that the Valorant though is in a weird spot right now where uh, the game has come out, it has developed its its kind of core audience, and obviously there are those people who just love, you know, the, the, the low time to kill, precise gunplay FPS, right? Who've been playing CSGO and then shifted over to Valorant. It, it's going to have that core audience for many years. But I think it's in an interesting spot where it's still holding on to kind of this majority of casual gamers who want to be playing something else, right? Who, who, would, who would kill for a good FPS game. Spike down mid to come out, right? And and we're still, you know, stuck here. So I think I think in a kind of an interesting way Valorant is 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 maturing. I'm not going to say it's dead, it's far from dead. Obviously, it's going to have a long lifespan. But I'm I'm hoping that, you know, pretty soon we're going to see different games with different concepts and different I don't know, kind of gameplay. There's a ton of people talking about the finals right now, right? This new um, game made by the devs of Battlefield and made by the devs of Mirror's Edge, which is that, if you don't know, it's like that uh, platforming game, movement-based really, it, it kind of like parkour. And there's a lot of hype around it, a lot of big streamers are playing it. And, you know, you can see from the footage that obviously it has great graphics. But I think one thing that this game is going to stumble over is if you just look at the guns, look at the way that the muzzle flash takes up the screen, look at the way that, you know, accuracy shifts. It, it doesn't feel like Call of Duty when you're playing it, which has a different type of good gunplay. It sure as hell doesn't feel like Valorant. I think that these guys are going to, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like, honestly, Battlefield is great, but it doesn't have satisfying gunplay. And I think that this might, 
you know, it stemming from the same developers might have the same issue. It's, obviously, there's a ton of hype over it, but just think about it from a, you know, a kind of a high view. The objective is to stand still and, and guard your money for 90 seconds while other people come and try to grab it from you. When it's like a, a game that's focused on movement and destroying buildings. I don't think that the way that the objective is laid out really benefits the gunplay, right? Because if you have a movement-based game, you shouldn't have to stand still guarding an objective for 90 seconds. It's not going to be super fun. Uh, I don't know. It needs something... In its objective needs to change. Now, I'm not... Obviously, the game's still in testing, but... And there's a lot of people who like it right now, but I think that these are potential problems for the finals. Now, don't get me wrong. The game has unique gameplay. It has great graphics. It has an original concept. And these are things that put it in contention. But is it going to be that game that people stick around? Is it going to be the next Valorant? That I, I don't know. Um, another game that's coming out pretty soon that I'm hoping is going to take some people away, a new RTS game. Uh, Real-time strategy games have been... Man, I mean, the landscape there is even worse than FPS right now, right? Like, the best RTS game ever made, pretty much un uncontested, is, is StarCraft II, right? It has the most players, it has the best engine, the highest, like, uh, I guess, response time. Um, I mean, for those who don't know, like, real-time strategy is a pretty... It's a genre that hasn't been tapped into yet, mainly because StarCraft II is older than most gamers right now, right? And there's... There's demand for real-time strategy games. Just go on to Twitch and, and look at the chess category. Uh, chess is one of the most popular games on Twitch right now because that's because that's the best real-time strategy game out, right? Don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of the 64 squares myself, but I'm pretty sure that most of those players would prefer to be playing a strategy game that was more exciting, right? Uh, obviously not all of them, right? I get it. Um, but I just, I just feel like StarCraft is never going to be that game. Um, and there's this new game coming out from, you know, developers who left Blizzard um, called Stormgate, which is really promising. It, it's promising to be more responsive than StarCraft, which is, you know, obviously what it takes to have a good RTS game is like your units need to respond to your commands quickly, which gets tough whenever you have unit counts that are so high because of the, the networking and optimizing for the computers. It, it, it can get a lot of lag. Um, but this game is, is promising to be responsive, and that gives it potential to be competitive. Um, and obviously it has modern graphics, and what I'm really hoping that this game can do that other RTS games is, is really to... Uh, the other RTS games have failed to do is, is not just to like improve on StarCraft 2. It, it's, it's also to appeal to everyone, right? Because obviously it's a genre that people are interested in, I mean, just take chess as an example, but nobody's really cracked the code on, on how to make a great mainstream RTS game. It just hasn't happened yet. And I'm hoping that Stormgate really... Uh, they, they kind of, like, changed the recipe significantly to try and do this. And I think that they have some good ideas. Obviously, they're, they're, they're planning to have 3v3 as the main game mode, which I think is way better than 1v1, because 1v1 is just too mentally hard. To, to kind of binge play. Um, and and I think that they're trying to balance out how many units you have and how many macro tasks there are. Because with StarCraft II, it's like, I don't know, it's a very foreign game to people who've never played it. They don't really understand the objective. You have to build up your economy. You're managing 200 units at a time. And uh, the, jack the objective isn't really clear. And, and most of the game isn't combat. It's, it's keeping your upgrades going. It's keeping your economy growing. It's, it's keeping vision on the entire map, right? Versus like, you know, all of the most popular games are, are significantly more combat focused. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, kind of shifting that that gameplay to being less macro, more micro, while still having a strategic base, you know what I mean, is, is going to be crucial for Stormgate, uh, not only to overtake RTS, but to kind of solidify the RTS genre and keep that thing from dying. That being said, though, I still think Valorant is going to be a fun game to play every once in a while. I still enjoy climbing the ladder. 
I still think that it has the you know the best gunplay and is is the best load time to kill first person shooter out on the market yet. I just think that there's more interesting options that are going to be coming out soon. I hope that the finals can live up to the hype, and I'm I'm really hoping that that Stormgate is something that people take interest in because you know that's obviously something that I want to make videos on, and that's something that I kind of want to you know it being a new game coming out. I want to start posting videos on that. So we'll see. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think Valorant just kind of run its course? Do you think that, you know, you want to keep playing that game forever? Are you also kind of, kind of hoping for a better FPS game to come out soon? And, you know, just kind of stuck playing Valorant. I don't know. Either way, I'll be sure to, whatever the options are, I'll, I'll play the finals coming up soon. I'll, I'll switch over to, you know, some Stormgate content as soon as there is content to make there. Overall, I'm just kind of happy to be back making videos. And I'll be making more videos coming shortly. Thank you guys.